Hey guys, it's Snackwell again. Um, I'm in a church this time. I've made it a little bit farther. I've been playing for about two and a half hours, maybe three. Um, this game is getting really, really good. Uh, I'd say better than the Dark Souls series so far. Um, I got myself uh, a new pistol. I'm still using the same axe, but I've uh, been having a bit of trouble with some of these guys. They're not very polite. So I'm going to try and get caught up to where I was uh, just a few minutes ago. And you can see that the game is getting a bit tougher. I am trying to avoid some of these guys just to, uh, to get back to where I was. This guy is a pain in the ass. Okay, that was luckier than I was expecting it to be. Um, I'm gonna try and mess these guys up. Looks like they might end up messing me up. But we'll see. Uh, come on. Come on. So yeah, the, the difficulty of the game has definitely stepped up. Um, as I said before, I'm like two and a half, maybe three hours in, I think. I've been kind of rushing, but I've been kind of also exploring. There are certain parts of the game where you've just got to really take it slow, and other parts where I feel running through and, and just trying to get through as quick as you can uh, seems to be a bit better. I've been told that uh, there is a boss coming up, so trying to save as many of these blood vials and, and uh, quicksilver bullets as I can. What do you... Is that like... I'm pretty sure that's that's either a crucifix or it's one of those things you put near the door to hang your coats on. Let's see if it's any good for him. Okay, that does hurt. I'm gonna try and grab the high ground here and uh, see if I can't wreck him. Uh, stay down, pal. I want that thing. I, I was really hoping he was gonna drop that, but whatever. <clears throat> yeah, this uh, this certainly screams boss area. Yeah, it is me. Are you gonna are you gonna poke me here? Oh, what a shame! I'm really enjoying the um, the architecture in this game and the amount of time that they've spent really making an immersive environment. It is certainly dark, gives you that uh, feeling of spookiness. And um, the other thing I'm glad about is that they decided yet again not to add a map to the game. Um, a big part of the Dark Souls series, and especially this game, is just getting lost in the environment. I have absolutely no idea where I am right now. Uh, this is all new areas to me, but wandering around, uh, fi trying to find your way in kind of a confusing area like this is great, because I know eventually I'm going to run into a shortcut that will uh, bring me back to where I've been before, and finding those shortcuts and finding those routes back uh, is a big part of the uh, Dark Souls and now Bloodborne series. I would say without uh, without a map, the game really immerses you in a world that makes you feel like you're alone and you have no idea where to go. Also, these crows are pretty stupid. Flightless birds. How well, do I get over there? Okay, all right. I want that. What are you gonna do with that thing? Not ammo. 
All right. Yeah, I guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I know. Take a risk and jump off here. <clears throat> so I haven't been to the any like any um, I don't know what you call them other areas yet. I've only been in Yarnum, and I've found that the environments kind of look very similar. So I'm hoping that later on in the game, when you uh, when you get to some of these new areas, they really take a new art style. I mean, I, I'd be glad if the game stayed like this, but I know from software is really. Um, does he not see me? I really hope... Oh. I hope that guy was not an ally. Jesus, okay. At least certainly not now. Dude, lay off with the shotgun, man. Okay, alright. Real talk, you're a bit of an ass. With the shotgun again, come on, man. Yeah, none of this is an enjoyable time. We're gonna dance around the tree here. Whoa, okay. He's fast. But I, I don't think he's fast enough. Come on, buddy. I get it. You like your gun. I very nearly died. Are you, uh, are you kidding me right now? Ow. Come on. Oh. Give me your gun. Bullets, okay. Uh, the other thing I found is that um, I was reading up on lore. Um, there's a guy on YouTube named Vati, and he, he does a lot of uh, lore videos, and he started his series on Bloodborne. I don't know if you guys are interested in lore or not, but um, anytime you see one of these incense lanterns, you know that there's somebody hanging around here. Uh, so, so far, I've saved a couple people and, and led them to uh, safer areas. But sometimes they're just, they're real assholes. Bless us with blood. Okay, well this lady's just crazy, but you get the idea. Sometimes they, um, sometimes they're helpful, and other times they just kind of don't do anything. Bless us with blood. Bless. Yeah. Okay. Bless us. Bless us with blood. I know. I I don't have any to spare. Oh well. I got enough crazy people to deal with. Well, well, well. It's not gonna do anything for me. Oh, the other thing I've noticed is that when you kill a lot of guys, 
or, or you get hurt a lot. You get covered in blood, and it, it's pretty realistic. I, I mean, it disappears after a while. It kind of dries a little bit. It was the same thing. I was in a sewer earlier, and as I was rolling around in the filthy water, I kind of got covered in shit. And, I mean, it's gross to think about, but it is a neat little touch. And, I mean, the PS4 is really capable of some great stuff. Even the render distances. If you look at the stuff off in the distance, it's really high detail in comparison to what they were able to pack into Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. It's the little things, right? I guess. Uh, they're not getting away from me. These guys are a lot like the Crystal Lizards in um, Dark Souls, and again Dark Souls 2, I guess. They're, they they kind of hide in spots and then run away. Sometimes they have really good items. That guy didn't really drop too much, but... As I said in my last video, there's a lot of comparisons between Dark Souls and this game. And I know I also said I found things that I didn't like, but I'm pretty sure that was a lie, because so far I've been enjoying pretty much 100% of this game. <clears throat> I actually haven't been invaded either, and I've, I've been using this Beckoning Bell, which is the new version of the white soap stuff. No, sorry, that's wrong. The, um... Oh boy. You know, okay, well, the thing that you use to summon people into your world. In this game now, it's the Beckoning Bell. So you ring the Beckoning Bell, like so. And you lose connection to the network. So yeah, um, that'll be the end of my video for right now because apparently my internet is shit. But um, keep up with me and uh, I'll keep making little videos like this. So, thanks.